Hello and welcome to inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time, Toucan Primrose. I hardly ever do yellow inks. In fact, this might be the first yellow ink I've actually ever done. Uh, but this is a yellow ink. Uh, when I think of Primrose, I always think of pink because the ones where I grew up were always pink. Uh, but nonetheless, you can get yellow primroses and this is a very nice little flowery color. Um, it's super uh, light, as you can see here. It seems... Um, yeah, on the page and not in the video. The video seems to be picking up the yellow a lot better than my eyeballs do, but um, you can find this toucan ink at andersonpins.com in three milliliter samples or in, um, I forget how many, how big the bags are. I want to say, well, I don't know. Check it out. I'm not going to lie to you, uh, but go to andersonpins.com or .net to uh, pick up some of this. They're the only American distributor, so unless you're in Australia, go to andersonpins.com. They're great folks, so support your local... Uh, your local online mom and pop businesses. All right. So as I said, this one is not very saturated. I was using this in uh, uh, an Artista. Uh, it's actually my wife's Artista, so it's not using the Franklin Christoph nib. And I think it works better with its native nib, honestly. But uh, the flow on the sink is very nice. It's got no problems. I never had any hard starts or anything. I didn't use it a whole lot, honestly. And you can see there's quite a lot left of this three mil sample, most of three mils probably. Um, just because it's too light, really, for me to use on a regular basis. It'd be a good art ink. It'd be probably a very good drawing ink. It's going to be a great mixing ink. These toucan inks are meant to be mixed together. So, I don't know, get yourself a bunch of samples and go to town mixing. People love that mixing stuff. And here it should work out just fine. So check that out. I haven't seen any bleed, feather, or spread on these. Um, although it would be kind of tough to see the bleeding uh, just because the ink is so light. Uh, I mentioned in the Primrose video... Uh, or rather not Primrose, uh, gold video, that gold might make a good highlighter color, but Primrose, I think, would be perfect for a highlighter color. Um, in fact, let's see, do I have a highlighter sitting here? I do have a highlighter. Yeah, this is just a regular little Sharpie highlighter. Let's actually see how close these things are. Uh, I can't see my hands past the iPad. Here we go. Well, all right, Primrose is a bit darker than a highlighter, but nonetheless, I think it would actually be pretty good. Um, it's not going to be opaque or anything, so... I don't know, give it a shot. Let me know what you find out if you try it. I don't have any pens I can devote to highlightering right now, but um, this is a, it's a Sharpie pen that I had that in. Um, so anyway, check that out. This is not a bad ink. Uh, it behaves just fine, no feathering or anything. Uh, and you can see it next to gold. Uh, I said gold was kind of too light for me to use. Check out Primrose above it. Way too light for me to use. Um, so it's probably it's definitely not going to make it in the rotation for me unless I uh, darken it up with some other ink. Not really sure what to throw in with yellow to make it more interesting. So if you got a comment for that, uh, leave it in the comments. I would love to see what uh, people think I ought to mix up here. While well, I've got some mills, uh, you can see it there next to Pilot Blue Black. Again, I'm using that in this uh, really cool Levenger Select uh, True Rider, which is a fantastic pen. Uh, so far, big, heavy kind of dude pen, really. Um, Toucan Turquoise is a pretty good turquoise. It's not uh, It's not quite as good as, like, my favorite turquoise. is Schaefer Turquoise. Love that one. This one, not bad. Uh, Mont Blanc Defoe down there, you can barely... Let's, I've got that in a, a nib that's pretty wet, so you can barely see the green. But if you look up here in the arches and such, you can see the greens at the end, which is very cool. I think it's neat. And then another sort of really dark green, Salamander. Man, I love Salamander and Defoe. Both are fantastic. Defoe is limited edition, so... If you haven't gotten your, your hands on Daniel Defoe yet, get your hands on some Daniel Defoe. Daniel Defoe? That seems right. Maybe I'm mixing up things. Anyway, Defoe. Um, here we go. Let's see if this has got some uh, water resistance. None of the rest have, so I don't hope that this does. Uh, but you never know. So, whoop, there we go. All right. Okay, good enough. Uh, blot this away. Actually, I can already see the yellow coming through there, so, yep. All right, you see this uh, rodeo paper wrinkling up a little bit? For whatever reason, the lined ones don't just, just don't seem to be as hardy as the dot pads. I don't know why that is. But you can see that the lines have totally gone, and really most of the dot action is gone. So if you spill water on this one, you're going to be losing the whole page of stuff. <laughs> I was just uh, looking at this, and man, that highlighter really is brighter. So I don't know, maybe it's not really a good highlighter ink. I know there are some special highlighter inks, but this might be a fun thing to use. I don't know, give it a shot. Whatever. Did it come through? No, nope, nothing coming through the other side, of course. This is a idea. Um, so, anyway, this is um, Toucan Primrose. I also have some chromatography here for you. There it is. You can see down here at the end where I have, uh, where I put the blotch, there is just nothing. I mean, I can't even see a darker area. It's just yellow up here. 
and it traveled as far as the water did. So yeah, this one, no water resistance. And also it's just yellow. Nothing else going on in this one. So yellow, yellow. Yellow with a side of yellow, please. All right, so this has been uh, Toucan Primrose. Check that out at andersonpins.com. Thanks very much to Anderson Pins for sending this out to me to try out and show off to everybody because, uh, well, I really like showing off cool new inks. Um, so check out Toucan Primrose. Also, if you uh, like what I'm doing here at inkdependence.com, please go over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you can lend your support to the blog. This is a blog with no advertisements of any kind other than my advertisement for uh, uh, patronage. So um, go check that out. Become a patron. Support the blog. Uh, peace out, guys and gals.